So I've been analyzing stage destruction in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero and in a nutshell I'm going to be breaking it down into things we know so far and the things we do not. So from what I've gathered so far I can confidently say that this is what we know. A cool detail is that the rocks and pillars seem to have a rough center point when getting destroyed to simulate it crumbling from the impact point that it was hit from. Pillars seem to have different height layers that can gradually be broken down. Another cool detail is when a singular key blast hits the ground it only causes cracks and scorch marks, but when a series of key blasts or a special attack hits the ground, the boulders and debris of the collision shoot up and fall back down again. Speaking of falling back down again, the rocks and debris are affected by physics. They will bounce up in an explosion and fall back down. In this shot we can see two light scorch marks that were left in the ground from the battle. This for sure somewhat indicates that stage destruction will be left throughout the battle. Key blasts that do not hover over the ground but shot straight at your opponent like a bullet does not cause ground destruction, like Vegeta's atomic blast over here, Kuririn's destructor disc I would assume, and also a move like Freezer's death beam could also be included in that. Each singular blast will cause bigger destruction effects than we've seen in any other Dragon Ball Z game. Hey look, the pillars also have physics. Incoming key blasts that you deflect, and I assume, guard, will cause the ground to shatter under you due to the energy, obviously. When you do your ultimate especially, the rocks will explode from beneath you. This makes sense, but I do have mixed feelings about this. I hope it's only for super powered forms where this happens. Now to end this section off, I don't think it's just me, but does destroyed earth look a lot like destroyed Namek here? Unless this is a custom match and they just pick Namek again. And with that, I want to transition into what we don't know. We don't know how long the stage destruction will last based on those scorch marks from earlier, but I'm not too worried. And this is something that I heard this morning that actually gave me the inspiration to make this video. The first question is, will the destruction go deeper than just the ground level? When we shoot a Kameyamiya into the ground, will there be a crater left from the impact? It's definitely not a deal breaker, but I think that is the true next gen experience that we all want exclusive to the next gen but gives us upgraded Kakarot level destruction. The true experience playing the game won't be that much affected, but imagine shooting a Kamehameha, barely missing to then hit the ground and then for you to dash to your opponent in the crater that's left. Not a big deal, again, but it would be cool. The next thing that we don't know and that also ties into the destruction going deeper is will we have real time planet destruction or will it be shown to us in a cutscene like previous games and what kinda looks like is happening in the trailer. This might seem like an obvious question, but again with the next generation power and some effort, I'm not saying they're not putting effort into this game, chill in the comments please. Imagine you decide to destroy the planet and the ground starts collapsing around you and your opponent. Things in the distance can happen, like areas on the map that you can only see. There's a few white frames and boom, planet's destroyed. I don't know, I think that would be cool, and I'm definitely not the only one. Is it realistic though? Probably not. Anyway, the game's still gonna be generally fire. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this episode of me analyzing the stage destruction in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Things we know and things we can only speculate about for now. Something I am worried about though is what the movement might be in Sparking Zero. I've made two videos discussing my findings and another on what the fans perspective is. So if you find that interesting, give it a watch. But thank you so much again, I appreciate your time. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below, consider subscribing, leave a like if you liked it, and have a good rest of your day. Bye bye.